So in this video we're going to have a quick look at the rotate tool and that's this one right here and um, you can see that when I uh, that when I choose the rotate tool that it uh, looks kind of like a protractor and um, it's also blue and if you hit the arrow keys on your keyboard the left key makes it turn green and the right key makes it turn red and those correspond with the colors of the axes on your drawing area. So if I were to select an object and rotate it using the rotate tool in this mode, it would rotate it in an axis parallel to the green axis. If I did it like this, it would be in the red. If I did it like this, it would be in the blue. So let's just have a quick look at that. So I need to first select what I want to rotate. And it's going to be this. Take the rotate tool, and currently it's in the blue axis. So if I click here, move away, and then rotate, you can see how it's rotating. So let's step back. This time I'm going to hit the left arrow on my keyboard, and now it's in the green axis. And if I click, move away, and drag, you can see now it's rotating like that. And the third one, if I hit the right key on me, uh, the right arrow key on my keyboard, and click, move away, and then start to turn, you can see it rotates in the other axis. So you've got three different axes that you can rotate the object in. Now, um, with the um, with this tool, you can also work accurately, just like you can when you're uh, making an object. So, for example, if I want to rotate this, which is what I want to do, by 90 degrees, I can click on my first point, which is my center of rotation, move away a little bit, pull down, and then type 90, and hit enter, and it's done. And now I, can, I guess you can imagine that uh, you can do that with pretty much any angle. And the point where you click first is going to be your center of rotation. So here, let's say 45 degrees, and you got that. So the important things about the rotation tool, the rotate tool, are first of all choosing which axis to rotate in, and then clicking once, clicking twice, move slightly in the direction you want it to go, then type the angle, hit the enter key, and you've got an accurately rotated part. 